Maximizing Your Returns with Closed-End Funds, Strategies for Success Investing in the stock market can be a great way to grow your wealth and secure your financial future. However, with so many investment options out there, it can be difficult to know where to start. One option that many investors overlook is closed-end funds. These funds can offer higher returns than traditional mutual funds, but they also come with their own set of unique risks and challenges. In this article, we'll explore some of the strategies you can use to maximize your returns with closed-end funds. From understanding the risks to diversifying your portfolio, we'll cover everything you need to know to succeed in this exciting and potentially lucrative market. So, whether you're a seasoned investor looking to expand your portfolio or a beginner just starting out, read on to discover how you can make the most of your investments with closed-end funds. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that notification bell to make sure you're getting all about up-to-date content. Understanding Closed-End Funds, CEFs Closed-end funds are investment companies that issue a fixed number of shares to the public through an initial public offering, IPO. These shares are then traded on the stock exchange just like any other stock. Unlike traditional mutual funds, which constantly issue and redeem shares based on investor demand, closed-end funds have a fixed number of shares outstanding. This means that the price of a closed-end fund's shares is determined by supply and demand on the open market, rather than by the value of the underlying assets. Closed-end funds can invest in a wide range of assets, including stocks, bonds, and other securities. They can also use leverage to increase their returns which can be both a blessing and a curse for investors. Leverage can amplify gains, but it can also magnify losses. Understanding how a closed-end fund uses leverage is crucial to evaluating its potential risks and rewards. One of the key differences between closed-end funds and traditional mutual funds is that closed-end funds can trade at a premium or discount to their net asset value, NAV. This means that the market price of a closed-end fund's shares can be higher or lower than the value of the underlying assets. This can create opportunities for savvy investors to profit from market inefficiencies. Advantages and Disadvantages of CEFs Like any investment, closed-end funds have their pros and cons. Some of the advantages of closed-end funds include their potential for high returns, their ability to invest in a wide range of assets, and their ability to trade at a discount to an AV. However, closed-end funds also come with some unique risks and challenges. One of the biggest risks of closed-end funds is their use of leverage. Leverage can amplify gains, but it can also magnify losses. If a closed-end fund's investments perform poorly, the fund may be forced to sell assets at a loss to meet its obligations. This can lead to a downward spiral in which the fund's NAV and market price both decline. Another challenge with closed-end funds is their potential for illiquidity. Because closed-end funds have a fixed number of shares outstanding, it can be difficult to buy or sell shares in large quantities. This can make it hard to exit a position quickly if needed. Despite these risks, closed-end funds can be a valuable addition to a well-diversified portfolio. By investing in a range of assets and using leverage to amplify returns, closed-end funds can offer investors the potential for high returns. Common CEF Investment Strategies There are a variety of investment strategies that can be used with closed-end funds. One popular strategy is to buy funds that are trading at a discount to an AV. This can be a way to purchase assets at a discount and potentially profit when the market adjusts to the true value of the assets. Another strategy is to look for closed-end funds that have a history of paying high dividends. These funds can be a good way to generate income from your investments. However, it's important to evaluate the sustainability of the fund's dividend payments before investing. A third strategy is to look for closed-end funds that are managed by experienced and reputable investment managers. These managers may have a track record of success and can help to minimize some of the risks associated with closed-end fund investing. How to Analyze a CEF's Performance Analyzing the performance of a closed-end fund can be a bit more complicated than analyzing a traditional mutual fund. 
because closed-end funds can trade at a premium or discount to an EBI, their market price may not always reflect the value of the underlying assets. One key metric to look at when evaluating a closed-end fund is its discount or premium to an AV. This can give you an idea of whether the market is valuing the fund's assets accurately. It's also important to look at the fund's historical performance, including its returns and volatility. Another important factor to consider is the fund's management team. A good manager can help to minimize risks and maximize returns. Look for managers with a track record of success and a clear investment strategy. Choosing the right CEF for your portfolio When choosing a closed-end fund for your portfolio, there are several factors to consider. One important factor is the fund's investment strategy. Make sure that the fund's strategy aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Another factor to consider is the fund's fees. Closed-end funds can come with a variety of fees, including management fees, performance fees, and distribution fees. Make sure you understand all of the fees associated with a fund before investing. Finally, consider the fund's historical performance and its discount or premium to an AV. Look for funds that have a strong track record of success and are trading at a discount to an AV. These funds may offer the best potential for high returns. The Role of Diversification in CEF Investing Diversification is key to any successful investment strategy, and closed-end funds are no exception. By investing in a variety of funds with different investment strategies and asset classes, you can help to minimize your risks and maximize your returns. One way to diversify your closed-end fund investments is to invest in funds with different asset classes. For example, you may want to invest in some funds that focus on stocks and others that focus on bonds. This can help to balance your portfolio and minimize your exposure to any one asset class. Another way to diversify is to invest in funds with different investment strategies. For example, you may want to invest in some funds that focus on income generation and others that focus on capital appreciation. This can help to provide a more balanced portfolio and minimize your risks. Managing risk in CEFs As with any investment, managing risk is crucial when investing in closed-end funds. One way to manage risk is to diversify your investments, as discussed above. Another way to manage risk is to pay close attention to a fund's use of leverage. When evaluating a closed-end fund, it's important to understand how the fund uses leverage and what risks this may pose. Look for funds that have a conservative approach to leverage and that have a history of using leverage responsibly. It's also important to monitor the fund's performance regularly and be prepared to make changes to your portfolio if necessary. If a fund's performance starts to decline or if it starts to use leverage in a more aggressive way, it may be time to re-evaluate your investment. Tax Implications of CEF Investing Investing in closed-end funds can have some unique tax implications. Because closed-end funds can trade at a discount or premium to an AV, there may be tax consequences when you buy or sell shares. If you buy shares of a closed-end fund at a discount to an AV, you may be subject to a tax on the discount when you sell the shares. Similarly, if you sell shares of a closed-end fund at a premium to an AV, you may be required to pay a tax on the premium. It's important to work with a qualified tax professional to understand the tax implications of your closed-end fund investments and to make sure you're taking advantage of any tax-saving strategies. Top Performing CEFs to Consider There are many closed-end funds to choose from, and it can be difficult to know where to start. To help you get started, here are a few top-performing closed-end funds to consider. BlackRock Enhanced Equity Dividend Trust, BDJ This fund focuses on large-cap U.S. stocks and has a history of paying high dividends. BlackRock Health Sciences Trust, BME This fund invests in companies in the healthcare industry and has a strong track record of performance. Nuveen Municipal Value Fund, NUV this fund invests in municipal bonds and has a history of paying high dividends. Remember, these are just a few examples of closed-end funds that may be worth considering. Always do your own research and make sure a fund aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance before investing.
Conclusion Closed-end funds can be a valuable addition to a well-diversified portfolio. By investing in a range of assets and using leverage to amplify returns, closed-end funds can offer investors the potential for high returns. However, investing in closed-end funds also comes with its own set of unique risks and challenges. By understanding the risks, analyzing a fund's performance, and diversifying your investments, you can maximize your returns and minimize your risks in this exciting and potentially lucrative market. Check out the description section below for more information and sources that will help you no matter where you are in your investing journey. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, before you leave, make sure you like this video, subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below. So you don't miss out, make sure you smash that notification bell to know when we drop new content. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.